Good day, CCF family. This is Tiji Sosa from Elevate, and we're here right now with our senior pastor, Pastor Peter Tanchi, to answer some questions for Sunday Fast Track. Good morning, Pastor Peter. We just have a couple of questions. Praise God for the message. It was a heavy topic this morning. But to help us process the message together, we just have a couple of questions for you. First question, can we even call God loving if He punishes us for something He can save us from? What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Maybe it's a controversial question, Pastor, that a lot of people think that we have a good God who is loving. So how can He send good people to hell or how can he punish good people just because he is god or maybe because people think he is loving i want to ask you a question okay to answer this is very important for example if somebody do you have a mother yes well. still alive yes well. you have sisters i uh, know okay mother if somebody will enter your house rape your mother and then kill okay kill your mother is that horrible yes okay. do you think justice should be done yes why because evil was done all right this person now goes before the judge they caught him you are a witness and then he tells the judge i'm sorry i know i'm wrong please forgive me don't sentence me because i will not do it anymore i'll be good from now on what should the judge do? Uh, Will judge let him go? Scot free? I believe not. What about you? What do you like the judge to do? I would like the judge to punish the person. Why? Because that is what is because just. Now let me ask you. Have you done something in your life that is not just, that is not right? Definitely, Pastor. Now, how can God help us for this judge to let the guy go won't be justice? So what did God do? He took our place. Mm. He died on the cross. The greatest injustice was accomplished by Jesus himself. Mm. So God is holy. Sin has to be punished. Amen. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, praise God, Pastor Peter. Really, because God is holy, we believe that sin must have a consequence. It must be paid for. But praise God, we have a loving God who sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for the forgiveness of our sins. Pastor Peter, a question for you is, what if I am good by the world's standards? Can God still forgive me or the can fact, God still love yeah. me? Very good question. Very good question. The fact that you use that word, world standard. So my question is, what kind of standard is that? Years ago, for example, years ago, in the Roman times, they allow babies to be aborted and they allow babies to die after one month, two months, three months. Infanticide is allowed by law. So in those days, that is acceptable. You notice what's happening? If you use world standard, mm. it changes. What can be good, but in the eyes of God, it can be horrible. Mm. Let's talk about abortion. Today, they have discovered that a baby that is around 14 weeks old can already feel. They showed the video of how a baby was being uh, grinded, and the baby was trying to avoid it. That's horrible. So my question is, who sets the standard? That's the danger of, I'm good in the eyes of friend, but What's the standard? The standard we know of is Jesus. Right. So compare yourself to Jesus. If you're up to his standard, you go to heaven. Mm. Thank you, Pastor Peter, for addressing that beautiful question and also really reminding us of our standard for morality. It's not the world's standards, but Jesus' standards. Our second question, Pastor Peter, why isn't being a good person, or maybe a lot of people wonder, can good works really get me to heaven? So why isn't being a good person enough for us to go to heaven? Right. Remember I asked that question, have you done anything wrong in your life? Mm. No matter how good you are, to be good is our duty. It's only proper that we be good. We do good works. However, doing good works, being good, is never enough. Why? Because you have done something wrong. 
and, that, and those wrong cannot be compensated by this idea of, well, I will let my good works cover up my sin. Because like what you said, justice has to be done. And that's why good people is good, but they will never make it. Because you need something more. You need forgiveness. You need pardon. Amen to that. We are all in need of God's forgiveness for all of us. And we have our last question for you, Pastor Peter. Our question is, is it wrong for us to remain friends with people who are living lives that go against the Bible's commands? The reality is, how can you influence your friends right. if you are not friends with them? Mm -hmm. To be friends with them does not mean you accept their values. It, it means you accept them but you don't have to agree with their values. But if you are not friends with them, how can you influence them? Mm. So keep on being a friend, but not friend in such a way that you do what they're doing. Right. And a real friend will influence them to what is right. Mm. Thank you, Pastor Peter, for answering our questions. And really, your answer to that last question, how can we influence others if we do not remain friends with them? And the greatest act of love we can do is to share the forgiveness of Jesus to them. Thank you once again, Pastor Peter, for answering our questions. And we hope our viewers have learned something today. Really, that's it for Sunday Fasha. But before we go, we'd like to invite you to our Elevate Youth Service happening every Saturday right here at CCF Center, Multipurpose Hall, every Saturday, 3 p.m. And also online, you may check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel for more details. God bless.